that just going live won't take away from the actions yeah. of who I really am. You know, like yeah. if I could have been making a song, should I have been going live? I think there's still I got taste from my face to the floor. It comes in waves, making waves for my home. Okay, what's up guys? It's Kenya. I'm here with Leonardo. She just said she wanted to do this is we're here once again. Fast video editing workshop during the networking here at Bobalicious Cafe. Alex is doing what he does because this is also a cafe. But um, <laughs> um Leonardo just said something really interesting to me. She she um, is thinking about doing a certain kind of video. Yes. You said you wanted to do videos in the morning where you're walking, outdoor videos. Yes. And I was like, you know what? That's the easiest kind of video to do. All you have to do is do it with your camera. Wow. And you're done. Wow. <laughs> no, but what's the barrier? Very... What's the barrier to doing it? No, I actually... Because right? that's... that's the thing. It's so simple. So the barrier to doing it is always interesting. Well, what I like is talking mm -hmm. to you. Because yeah. this is what you do. Yeah, yeah. So a lot of times, like for me myself, is mm -hmm. I don't have an understanding about something. Yeah. So I got to get around somebody like you that does video editing that knows about these type of yeah. things to express and just explain okay. the simplicity oh. of it. Yeah. Which is helpful. I mean, I do my little videos every so often, sitting and you know, talking. Something will come in my mind. I got to get it out. Yeah. But um, you know, and then also it's just wanting to make sure you're doing things right. Where do you want to post them? Um, I want to post them on my Facebook, and I would like to start a YouTube channel. Okay. Just doing some affirmations, doing some things that um, the Lord puts in my mind um, to share with other individuals, and then also th doing things, uh, talking about social justice issues, which okay. is my biggest thing, too. What kind of video, uh, phone do you have? Um, I have a Galaxy S8. Galaxy S8, okay. Now, I've been thinking, this is something I've been, because I've been trying to figure out how to, even for me to get my video faster on YouTube, and I think the thing is you just have to record the video mm -hmm. and then upload it to your computer and then post it to YouTube. I think that's going to be the fast. I know it sounds simple, but like I've tried other things, like maybe getting the YouTube app. That hasn't really been real for me yet. I'm going to try that again this week, but... Um, I do like to do a little bit of editing. Do do any editing right now? No, actually, I don't even know how to do editing. Then I wouldn't even try to start. <laughs> that's a different but thing. I would take like editing to learn. classes. Yeah, take editing I classes. Like I think learn. that's a good idea. Mm -hmm. Watch videos on YouTube. Pick whatever software you want. You have a Windows or a Mac? I have a Windows. You have a Windows? Mm -hmm. Um, I have an HP. I don't know. If you guys, whatever you're editing on Windows, make your suggestions. I have a, I have a Mac. I use Final Cut. You can also find an editor. You know that might be feasible depending on where you're at. But I would say don't even worry about editing. Just say, okay, how long are my videos gonna be? I would say shoot for 15 minutes. If you can do 15 minutes, if you can do. Shorter, it doesn't matter if you do longer, it doesn't matter, but 15 minutes is actually a good amount of time. That's good to know because yeah. I actually, the last video I did was close to an hour. I was like, oh, oh, no, 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 If you do an hour, do an hour. Okay. Never go under. Oh, if you okay. have, If you have it, put it all out there. I'm serious because you're, there's going to be a time where you don't have it. Yeah. So it's better to have that and you can go back and clip little clips out of your stuff later on. It's better. I'm, I'm going to drop two hours right now from the one video pretty soon. And I've realized I'm doing middle, middle editing on the videos. If I have the content, I put it out. I take out stuff I don't want to be in there, though. Like if I do something wrong or someone cusses because I don't like putting cussing in my stuff. So certain little things I will do based on my personal preferences. But other than that, length is never a hindrance. You know, someone's going to watch that extra 30 minutes and it's going to be maybe better than the alternative of what they would have done for those 30 minutes, I think. No, so why not? True. So, um... Yeah, cool. I had some people that were there with the, through the whole hour with me. Yeah. You know, it just responding and firing back. Oh, yeah, yeah. So it was yeah. good. It was a good connection. Yeah, and you did it live on Facebook? Yeah, on I just go on there live on Facebook and I'll just start... I, I have some things that I have set up. I love live. I think live yeah. is one of the biggest hacks because it lets you really make because it's about production value i think a lot of times with videos it's about production value and people usually think that means video quality but there's lots of different types of production value you being able to do a live chat show on the internet where people can do feedback is a very advanced technology and people appreciate that production value and it translates even if you were to download that video and upload it later and put it on something else people would still understand oh this is 
this type of video, you know, they would yeah. appreciate the fact that this wasn't just a video, this is a time where she's talking and other people are interacting, well, I, so I, I think that's cool. I love it too when you're doing the Facebook Live yeah. because it's a very vulnerable time. Yeah. Um, for me, as an individual, you're opening yourself up there, well, you're putting yourself out true. there, yeah. and in that vulnerability is a really great time to be courageous uh, as well. Yeah. So it's like you're talking there, mm, yeah. you're looking at him, you're looking at a screen, you don't really see the individual, but just the responses and the connection that you're feeling because we're about energy here. Mm -hmm. It's like, it's just for me personally, it's scary in the then, beginning, yeah. but once you, you start should, doing it, you should just do your videos, on. your morning ones, outdoor ones, just do them live then on Facebook. If you're already good with that, just do that every morning then. Go live on Facebook. That I, I wish I had that kind of energy because I don't actually have the energy to do that, ironically. Really? Like, I can do all that stuff, but that... Just because that's not how my mornings are set up. <laughs> if, if I have enough energy to talk to people, then let me get outside. I still got levels, years, yeah. before I really am ready for the world. So, But, I mean, if you can do that, that's a huge advantage that you have. Go live every morning. This it's gonna it's, it's it's gonna translate. And then, also, there's a little bit more to talk about when it comes to branding and stuff. Like, but, anyway. No, please. That is. You. No, no, no. We're, we're stopping there. We're stopping there. That is the fast video editing part of it right there. That. Live video is really the hack. Just going live. If you're able to, when you're able to, go live as long as you can. Really? Well, not as long as you can. At least 15 minutes. At least 15 minutes. And I say not as long as you can because recently I've been thinking about this a lot. I've actually been reducing the amount that I was going to go live. I was going to go live a lot more, but then I realized that... The live is a container, but what it contains needs to be closely aligned with who I am. A, who I'm? A, who I am? Who I am? Really? I thought I had needed more words on that. But it needs to be closely aligned with who I am, and I'm. I'm still not sure that just going live won't take away from the actions yeah. of who I really am. You know, like, yeah. if I could have been making a song, should I have been going live? I think there's still a little bit, like, and if I could have been going live while making a song, I think that may have been better. So I'm really starting to think, yeah. be more thoughtful about what I'm going live. I can go live and talk, and I do like doing that, but that's not the fullest extent. I like it for me going live. Yeah. I think it's very personable. You know, like yeah, I said, yeah. being vulnerable, very personable. And yeah. then even like you say, doing that extension of yourself. Like, yeah. okay, I'm doing this in the process to do this. Yeah. People are just intrigued about that in general, too. Yeah, yeah. I yeah. think that would be intriguing, too. Yeah. Because more and more I see on social media and just from the, the feedback that I've gotten mm -hmm. from people that have listened to my videos or, or talked to me, mm. the biggest thing is, like, I like how you just connect. Mm -hmm. and how you're just you you know I'm this is me yeah. you know type of thing yeah. and for a lot of people they're not able to do that yeah. so it just gives them the opportunity to see in somebody else's life and be encouraged too so yeah. it's very a lot of power goes into it yes yes no yeah it really does and especially you know the fact that the people who see your stuff and connect with you are your people yes. you know they might not have connected with anyone else you know I connect with certain people for certain reasons because that of me yeah you know anyway that's it for now we might add more but e either way <laughs> thanks for watching bye